Hello everyone, welcome back to me on the way down here into what I'm presuming is going to be one of the hardest things I've ever done. Um, I remember this vaguely. Also, why give me a rocket launch and then take it away? Um, but, uh, help. Sure, just start me off with this nonsense. Can I just do this? Yeah, that kills me. <laughs> oh yeah, it just charges into the water, gross. I do. Uh, I remember that it was uh, not easy to figure out the weak spot, but it was a long time ago, I was younger, I was less experienced at video games in general. So I'm hoping this time we will have the opportunity to actually beat Shub Niggurath. Um, this is not something I'm comfortable saying this many times, to be honest with you. Uh, oh gosh. Hey, there's a vertical wall of lava. Oh, there would be one somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing. This is going to be brand new in basically every respect. Kind of trepidatious. I, I'm kind of trepid. Let's not use a word that doesn't exist. What is this? I'm not following you. Don't even pretend that I'm going to follow you. Shub Niggurath's lair, by the way, is just like full of weapons. Yeah, I remember this. So I'm just going to zap you. I remember basically what kept happening was... Um, Enemies keep spawning, yeah, just like that, well then. Uh, but I, I couldn't figure out how to actually hurt the boss. Because right? it seemed like it doesn't do any damage. Oh, hello. Can we shoot this thing? Maybe, maybe. Stop. Let me pass, okay? You're mean. Sometimes you just have to, you know, barge in. <laughs> mercilessly, mercilessly face ah! the enemy. Yeah, this kind of happened last time. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, except for like, be more careful maybe. It may take a couple of goes. We should save it when we pick up all the uh, weapons, because otherwise we just have to keep redoing this bit. Seems a bit tedious, if you don't mind me saying so. And um. Then... Oh. At least we can sort of... It seems to be one big push that we have to make here, so... Um, I will. I shall. <laughs> ich will. Ich shall. Right, so we'll save it here. We have done the important bit. Now we will probably use this on this one. I can't do this without shooting myself, then there's no point even trying to do the rest of it, right? It's that extra thump that you have to wait for. Ow. I don't want to pick up 25 health just to heal a small... Oh, actually, it's a lot of damage. I think these spawn wherever that, um, that zappy thing is, that little ball, spiky ball thing. This isn't the best of times, this is probably the worst of times. Uh, this time it is not both, it's maybe one of the two. Oh, killing me. Where did this uh, ammunition come from? I'm so confused by what's happening right now. Ow. Right, finally we've got through a few of these. Can you stop, like, being a dick? Ow. I feel like I should be able to get over there, right? What killed you? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you can't just shoot the boss. That would be silly. But I don't know what you can do. So... 
Hit it? This happened before. I was like, hey, now I'm just attacking the boss. Like this. <laughs> it does not seem valuable in any respect. Right, what do, what do I do? Unload every weapon into it? Maybe. Can I kill that thing? Because it wants me to go over there, right? Can I? What's over there? We could also, like, go around it all again. Because I, I did notice that just to the side of the teleporter that I probably didn't need to necessarily use is this. It contains a quad. And then we can do this. What? Did I just telefract the boss? What did I do? You get the quad and you jump in and then... You are, I guess I um, theoretically just whacked it with my quad damage uh, axe, which was not as good as a shot in the face with a big lump of rocketry or anything like that. That was a weird level. I've never done that before, and I seem to remember it was really, really hard last time. Uh, so this is going to be a short episode. <laughs> I apologize for that. Congratulations and well done. You have beaten the hideous Shubnikrath. And... Her hundreds of ugly changelings and monsters. You have proven that your skill and the cunning and your cunning are greater than all the powers of Quake. You are the master now. Id Software salutes you. Thank you, Id. I appreciate that. However, um, now what? <laughs> we just beat Quake on Nightmare Mode, which is something that apparently is a, a massive undertaking. But what? I'm confused by what just happened. I'm going to see if I can. Um, uh, Look in the wiki. Sub Nigorath. Um, Wikipedia. Oh, that's the real name of the thing. <laughs> uh, Quake. Quake Sub Nigorath Pit. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm looking up how. I'm looking at what just happened, basically. Uh, it's final level of Quake has to have to play a full episode. Hidden under introduction because only access one to players or four runes. The level begins in a small flooded crypt where the players move set of bars and fire terrible. We did that. Go to the beat the Shub Nigarath, the final boss of Quake, excuse me. Once a water, rise up the water, climb out. Follow the corridors, kill the shambler to open the follow corridor. Wait for the sp spiked sphere to go inside Shub Nigarath. Use a teleporter to telefrag Shub Nigarath and beat the game. I wonder if the spiked sphere is where you appear when you teleport. Yeah? Because this says to wait for the spiked sphere to go inside Shub Nigarath and then telefrag her by use of the teleporter. Spiked sphere is starting to go into patrol route. Do. Kill the shambler. Turn left as the wall moves away. Kill the shambler. Kill all the enemies. Kill the ball, kill the ball. The differences are simply how many times you have to kill something. Um. Is this it? Literally the only way of beating Shub Nigarath is to teleport when the spike sphere is inside sh the boss and then yeah that is the only way of doing it so i'm guessing that what i didn't notice is that i was being teleported to wherever the spiky thing is so sometimes i would have um yeah this mysterious spike is the key to killing some We'll fly around the area surrounding the pit and will intermittently fly through Shub Nigarath herself. For some for reasons unknown, the teleporter in the past rooms will send the player directly to the spiked sphere's current location, which is often above the lava. So all the time that I was trying to figure out how to beat the boss, all those years ago, and I just figured it out accidentally because I didn't realise that the thing was inside the boss at the time I did the teleportation. It was me like... Um, just waxing lyrical about how maybe the the fact that I spawned next to the boss with 
quad damage was the reason it happened, but it wasn't. That's the end of the game. Thank you for watching. I don't know what I'm going to move on to next, but I'm sure it's going to be ludicrously entertaining. Uh, this I might just uh, add upload this on the same day as the previous one. Why the heck not? Hope you've enjoyed this. Look back into the the games, the well, one of the games that I, I was brought up on, so to speak, that the influenced my childhood and is the reason I'm doing this channel right now. I hope that people who didn't see it the first time around, you've got some idea of what games used to look like and used to play like. Uh, this has reasonably decently uh, levelly long type long of episodes number. So as we progress through more games, I think we're going to find it's going to be a lot more episodes uh, in those series as well. So look forward to those. I don't really know what's next. I'm probably going to do, go for a slightly more modern game called um, Strafe, which is in the retro style, but is actually a brand new game. And it looks really, really fun. So look out for that. Uh, and until whichever series comes next, thank you for watching this series. And I'll see you later.